Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. So one of the benefits of raw feeding, oh, Kim didn't want to stay on the couch with me. One of the benefits of raw feeding your dog and cat is that the, the bones that you feed with the raw food help clean, keep their teeth clean. So it, it prevents a lot of issues that you might see come up um, as far as like dental work needing to be done, keep keeping their teeth clean, especially along the gum lines, um, reduced inflammation because their teeth are constantly being cleaned from the bones. And unfortunately, my dog Kim is not a fan of bones. And so I've tried different things over the years, mostly different types of bones. Um, and she just doesn't want them. So when I visited Dexter's Deli this past time, I got a few things for her to try. This is a lamb trachea. Um, this is just turkey. And this is a cod skin. So what I'm going to do is over the next few days, give her, um, <laughs> now she's back because she's interested in what I've got. So what I'm going to do is over the next few days, I'm going to give her little uh, pieces of these different things. Come on, come up here. Come on. With the lamb trachea today. Wanna check it out? Okay. okay, so the intention for this video is to try these three different things out and I'm going to video Kim when I give them to her so we can see if she will chew on any of them. I honestly don't have very high hopes for anything right now because I have tried so many different things. But if you have any suggestions of different things to try, post in the comments below. I know there are so many wonderful people out there in the raw feeding community and I have actually asked many people <laughs> for many different suggestions. I've tried many different things. She's just um, she's very finicky. She's very much like princess like where like if it's too big, she won't touch it. Um, so it's, you know, obviously you can't give a bone that's too small because there is risk of choking. So I have to give her bones that are adequate size for, for her size. Um, so she's just very like princess like and finicky. So I'm trying different things. If you have suggestions, please post them below and I'm going to show you how she responds to these three different things over the next few days. Okay, so we're gonna try some more chew treats and see what Kim thinks about them. This is the cod skin. It's rather large though, so she might be a little intimidated by it. I got the small. This says a small. What? What? No? Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Let's see. Check it out. No? I also have a rabbit's ear. Want the rabbit's ear? Check that out. That's the right size. No, you don't want it. Okay. All right, guys. So the lamb trachea was a no-go. I tried leaving it down for a while because Kim is not at all food aggressive and does not have any resource guarding issues. Um, so I left it down for a couple of days. I even, I forgot to video it, but I even tried animating it, meaning like I kind of tossed it around and made it seem like more alive um, to see if she would get interested. And she was a little bit interested, meaning like she kind of did her like play, jump and hop 
at it and like she would go up to it and then like kind of do her play bow and then walk away but she never actually put it in her mouth so we're gonna try the second one which is just turkey just dried turkey so let's see if she has any interest in it come here Sophie. you want some turkey come on you want some turkey you want to see if you like it what do you think yeah it's for you and take it Okay, we'll take it. So I kind of tossed it just to like animate it a little bit. And now she's, she does have it in her mouth. She's actually chewing on this one. I'm so excited. I was getting a little worried. She was only chewing on one side, but she just moved it to the other side. So both sides of her teeth are getting a little bit of cleaning action. Good monkey, yay! She finally chewed on something. I am so stinking happy. And these were like, I only gave her about a quarter of it and it was like 89 cents. So they're super cheap. And yeah, she doesn't like having her teeth brushed. Um, we've been working on it and I'm gonna continue working on it with just a tiny little toothbrush and some coconut oil, but um, Obviously, getting her to chew on things is going to be the most beneficial. I really wish she would chew on bones, but I'm super excited that this piece of turkey that we got um, dried from Dexter's Deli, she actually liked it. So, every dog is different. Your dog may love the lamb trachea or the cod skin or even just a raw meaty bone. My dog is having trouble with a lot of these things. I am still a little bit hopeful about these turkey pieces. They're like dried turkey. Um, they are pretty dry. Uh, you, you saw her chewing one the other day and so it was working. To, um, she was moving from side to side so it was hopefully getting um, around her gum line cleaned up a little bit. But uh, right now she doesn't want anything and that could be because my husband gave her some bacon this morning. I don't know. But I still have some hopes for the turkey and I'm still going to keep trying other things. So uh, if you have any suggestions of things that I can try to help Kim get her teeth clean naturally, post in the comments below. I would love to hear and I'll even do another video to show you if she will or won't accept any other natural uh, treats or bones or anything like that. Um, yeah, so I still have hopes for the turkey, but the lamb trachea was a fail for Kim. The rabbit ear was a fail for Kim, and the cod skin was a fail for Kim. This uh, turkey is a maybe. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. I think she doesn't want it today because, like I said, my husband gave her some bacon this morning. So anyway, um, that's going to wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, give this a big thumbs up. And if you are into dog videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We talk about all things training, behavior, nutrition, enrichment, and I'd love to have you join the family here on YouTube. And I would really appreciate 
for you to join the family and subscribe. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for joining us. Kim says thank you too. Hi, baby. You say thank you to everybody. She's kind of camera. She doesn't like when I film. So, all right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.